So my thing, so we deep dive this uh, last night. Uh, the big news coming from the streaming world yesterday is uh, WWE Network and the Peacock are joining. Um, as in, not that they are merging necessarily, but apparently uh, that app that I, I don't know how widespread or people are using it right now, but it's NBC's answer to HBO Max, Netflix, things like that. And if you have Comcast, you actually probably already have it and don't know it. Um, or they won't let, or, or actually they probably tell you enough that you have it uh, if you have that co on Comcast. But um, yeah, it's the overtop thing. I, ju I just finished watching the Saved by the Bell reboot this afternoon, actually. Uh, but <laughs> and of course, the big news was they had The Office. But apparently, uh, for a $1 billion over five years deal they're going to actually acquire the exclusive streaming rights in the united states of the wb network wb of course has their own app where this is served on and that includes like you know wrestlemania royal rumble plus all of their original content and documentaries that they have on there um but that is going to go away your your wb app in, in the states will not your account will not work after i believe it's march 18th and all that will be integrated into the Peacock app. And actually, and they've been advertising this for a while, some of the old programs, these were the programs that were, uh, they started rolling out a lot of these um, back when the network started back in 2014, um, including newer stuff like, Bro like Stone Cold Steve Austin's talk show and things like that. Those have already been included in Peacock. Uh, so they're going to, again, that back catalog of like, and we're talking about, we're talking about old National Wrestling Alliance, uh, 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 Smoky Mountain Wrestling, uh, ECW, you know, things like that. And, and, you know, all that back catalog of the original WrestleMania, um, a lot of that is included. I guess all that it sounds like all that's going to migrate over. Um, it's kind of a nice um, – a, a lot of WWE fans are going to be um, saving money because uh, I think we're paying nine ninety nine a month now. Um, Peacock starts at four ninety nine, and again it, with the ad supported version, kind of like how Hulu does. And then nine ninety nine is the no ads version, the the premium plus they're calling it. But if you again you have Comcast or I think it's the like Cox was another one. We uh, if you want more in depth, we went over this like about a half an hour worth of this. This is big. This is big wrestling news. Uh, on last night's Wrestling Mayhem show, um, kind of Monday edition, we call Monday Mayhem Warriors over at WrestlingMayhemShow dot com. We we have a YouTube. Uh, clip of that as well if you just want to dig into that um so i mean this is a big play and kraus this is one of the reasons i invited you because i know we have been had this ongoing conversation about subscriber fatigue and they kind of solved part of the problem for me with this deal right yeah it's now combined into one you mm. get more stuff more bang for the buck i guess yeah yeah i mean it maybe even if you're like not even interested in some of these properties over here uh, it's still like you kind of get introduced to it i guess you know, I, I mean, the only concern was one that was brought up a lot last night was like, what happens to my account? I don't know if it matters. Like, is there really anything collections or history that you really care about being there? Um, but also, like, it's going to be dug into this <laughs> versus having its own thing. That could be a little weird, but I, I think it's kind of a win win for, for a lot of people out there. More people will get it. Um, about I think they said 1.5 million worldwide, about a million in the U.S. subscribe to the WWE Network. And again, if you're out of the U.S., you'll still get WWE Network the same way you always did. No Peacock required. Um, but uh, something there's something like 24 million signups for Peacock already. So that yeah, it says in the article you gave um, nearly 22 million users, but they're not sure how many of those are paying subscribers. Right. So this is all going to be all the WWE content will be behind the paywall, I guess. Um, I do. I think all the WWE network. So, so WWE, WWE network itself actually has been saying, talking about this free version of the WWE network they've been doing, which obviously I think is going to go away along with this. So there's been a, okay. like they'll have a selection of, if you go to uh, network w or watch the WWE.com, um, you'll see not logged in. I'm not logged in right now. You'll see a, a lock right next to, and then some of them will just have like a little person on it. So like, for instance, Royal Rumble's coming up this weekend is their big event. So they'll actually unlock for free several 
past events of the Royal Rumble, uh, episodes of other things going on, like, you know, some of their documentaries and things. So there's... So it's like to get you warmed up or something? Yeah, there's been a mix. You know, here's a bunch of free matches for some of their, their main shows you see on TV. So yeah, there's been a mix of that here. And I think that philosophy really kind of matches because I think there's something along the lines of uh, if you have a free account on Peacock, like you can watch, like say the first three episodes of one of their original programs um, versus, you know, the entire thing after you paid like at least the $5 a month, you know, and they, and they do have some interesting stuff, not just say by the bell, nothing that really kind of maybe AP bio, bio kind of looks interesting. That's a comedy that came over on here. Um, but they're really kind of ramping up and I'm sure they're getting hurt by the COVID situation too. Right. So, um, but it's, it's interesting. And now everybody has access to it. So I think it's a good growth for them. And also they don't have to worry about getting subscribers. (laughs) They just got prepaid for all their content for the next five years, which kind of matches their deals that they have on TV too, which are also obscene the last we knew, but, um, it's, it's been pretty crazy. So, 